Aside from telling time, alerting you when you're receiving an incoming call or a text message, your Apple Watch can do a lot more. And so in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you my favorite tips and tricks that I bet you didn't know about. Starting off with a hidden Siri feature. You see, by activating Siri, turn on night shift. I've turned on night shift until sunrise tomorrow. You can schedule night shift to turn on every night in settings. You heard that, right? We can actually turn on or disable night shift on our Apple Watch, which makes a lot of sense to consider doing, especially if you have night shift enabled on your smartphone. Why do you need to be blasted with a glowing light whenever you look at your Apple Watch during those late night sessions where you're just about to go to bed? Now, for some reason, night shift is not available. It cannot be located in your settings. Uh, I'm assuming if a developer on the watch OS decided to secretly stuffily enable that but yes we do indeed have night shift going on and you, and you can actually ask Siri to schedule this on a repeated time so like 9 p.m as an example how I have it set up but another less known feature I see a lot of people always forget is the race to activate Siri instead of long holding the digital crown or saying the name you know the sentence hey by going into your settings and going into the Siri section right here, make sure you have raise to speak enabled. This way, for tip number three is, you can just do stuff like this. Two minutes. And immediately begin setting that up. And the cool thing about the timer app is that you can set as many timers as you want. As that was one of the new changes for watchOS 10, not watchOS 11, we are actually covering watchOS 10 right now. Should be also available on watchOS 11, but you can set as many timers as you want. And then with an Apple Watch equipped with double tap, you can always dismiss timers by just simply doing that. And don't worry, if your device does not have the double tap function, here I have an Apple Watch Ultra 1 that does not have double tap ability. And to set it up for here, there's an alternative. So let's go ahead and quickly boot it up. As what you need to do is, I'm gonna take this out of the way, switch it to the watch launch settings and go down to accessibility and where it says motor quick actions make sure it's turned on and now if we set five second timer five seconds counting down and now whenever our timer is done we could just do the double tap gesture and just end it like that it's a, li a little bit laggy but i mean like it is possible with an apple watch that does not support double tap like the series 9 as well as the ultra 2 does Switching back to the main Apple Watch, turn off night shift. Okay. Making it easier on the camera to pick it up now. Forgot to disable that earlier. But the swipe face ability seems to be a forgotten feature that Apple re-enabled. If you like that ability to re-enable for your watch again, go in settings and go into the clock section and enable swipe to switch watch face. And that's how you can switch between previous or other watch faces just like this instead of having to go into the actual watch face selector and it's just the bottom portion as well as the upper right portion sometimes it'll let you to swipe between the different watch faces my best results are down here then another one i cannot live without is when starting a workout and yes you can utilize these bottom row right here as a quick shortcut to your apps but when starting a workout like this, this three second timer, you could just bypass it by simply tapping on it, just like this. In addition to that, another thing that I keep seeing people forget is instead of ending your workout, you can always add this little green will turn green. This little plus will turn green after the first minute, as you see right here. By tapping the green, this will allow you to continue that workout stats, but quickly switch to another workout, just like so. And this little workout summary. Or sometimes you'll get a message saying, are you sure you'd like to end your workout? If you like to disable that permanently, just go into your Apple Watch settings and go into the workout section right here and look for end workout confirmation right here. So by having that disabled, it will stop bugging you. That little, are you sure you like to end your workout message will be gone. So definitely disable that if you're positive all the time. And another thing I would like to quickly go over, whenever you select a workout, if you have like a certain goal, like you just want to burn 100 calories on, like on a treadmill or elliptical as an example, remember you can always tap these little dots and go into the calorie section, adjust the calorie goal, tap done, and then start the workout and it will give you a different theme and will actually tell you once you reach 100 calories instead of doing the timer or you constantly having to look at the watch to make sure you achieve your goal. So there's different categories and it'll actually stay 
and save the last time. But you can also select timer if you just want to do cardio for just 15 minutes as an example. You can always select the time session. It has a different theme as well. And when you're swimming, it also has distance tracking this way as well with GPS. And then for number eight, you may be asking yourself, why do I have my digital crown on this side versus over here what Apple advertises? Well, to be honest, I highly recommend experimenting because I find this to be more comfortable, especially since the digital crown isn't right here. Sometimes I'm like pushing something heavy or moving something. My wrist will technically like bump into this and will actually like toggle Siri or the emergency SOS with the power button, which has happened to me a couple of times already. So that's why I haven't moved over here. So I highly recommend experimenting because this is more functional in my opinion, especially the fact that when you're operating your digital crown, you're not like moving it. Like I typically will find it moving more over here compared to over here. It's super easy and I could just operate it like this when I haven't actually put my finger over the screen most of the time. Experiment, that's all I'm saying. You may find this side more comfortable. So by going into your Apple Watch settings and scroll down to general, and go into orientation and digital crown selector. This is where you can rotate from left or right digital crown and just swap the Apple Watch band accordingly. And then I know I will get gas does a lot. What Apple Watch band is this? This is the one from Spigen. I'll have it linked in the description down below for those who are wondering. But the last thing I like to quickly go over is the fact that you could have pin your Apple Watch in control center. I know I, know I am on iOS 18, but you'll still be able to find a pin icon right here which will allow you to pin your Apple Watch from your smartphone. And by going to Control Center and this little icon with your smartphone, you can also pin your iPhone from here. And if you have an Apple Watch that has precision tracking, it will give you basically real world data if you're nearby your Apple Watch or you're getting warmer or further away. So warm and cold basically. But by long holding that little icon, this will toggle your Apple Watch, your, your Apple Watch to toggle the flash on your iPhone. Just a small thing I know is a lot of people always forget. So, theater mode. Theater mode can be activated on your control center, of course, and you tap on here. Now, the beauty about the theater mode is I like using this a lot, especially when you're in a dark place, like a movie theater as an example, which hence the name theater mode, as toggling this will automatically switch your devices on silent and if you ever receive a notification, you'll feel a small vibration on your wrist and you can use the digital crown to take a quick peek and go back to dark. And then if you ever drop something in the cinema, by going in control center, toggling the flashlight, it will default to the red. So you can actually look for things that you might have dropped at the movie theater without distracting others around. Red is the color you like to use due to the fact that it will allow you to maintain your night vision. So it's much better than a bright white light illuminating in a dark room. This feature definitely does come in handy. And just like that, now you know all the cool things that your Apple Watch can do in this rapid fire tips and tricks video. If you like to watch more, maybe find out cool things your Apple Watch can do like make your life easier by unlocking your iPhone or your Mac computer so you can quickly log in. Highly recommend checking out that video over there where I show you a bunch of other digital stuff your Apple Watch can do regardless if you're on iOS 18, 17, or watchOS 10 or 11. They both basically share the same design layout in terms of their settings. Check it out right over there. Thank you so much for watching.